Good morning, friends. Today I came up with a really cool but simple project called 3D Butterflies. All you're going to need for this project is some colorful construction paper. I have about four pieces here for myself. You're going to need a glue stick or liquid glue. You're also going to need a pair of scissors. I have my heavy duty kitchen shears. Um, and I'm not sure if you're gonna need something to write with, but it doesn't hurt to have it with you anyways. So the first step to creating your 3D butterflies is we're going to start with the wings and the body pieces. So you're going to take your half of a half a sheet of construction paper. It can be any color that you would like to use. I love yellow, it's my favorite color, so I decided to use yellow. Um, and you're going to cut a nice straight line this way. Again, if you would like to help your child by drawing a line for them to cut on, that may be simplest, something like that. And you're going to just go ahead and we're going to cut, 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 cut. Okay, so now I have one body and I'm going to go ahead and cut a second one out so that I have two bodies for two butterflies. Again, remember our alligators, alligator, alligator, chomp, chomp, chomp. And this will help your child stay in a nice straight line while working on their cutting techniques. So the first two pieces I have are my two butterfly bodies. So I'm gonna set those aside. Um, I decided to use two different colors for the wings. I'm going to use red and I'm going to use blue. What you're going to do with this your half a half a sheet of construction paper. You're going to take the corner and you're just going to cut the corner off. Then you're gonna to go to the other side and do the same exact thing so you have two beautiful butterfly wings. Okay, there's my first two for one butterfly. I'm gonna do that again. Cut just the corners, one corner, two corners. So now the three pieces that I have here, two wings, two butterflies. Okay, so now you're going to need your piece of paper to assemble your butterflies on. You're gonna use your heavy duty glue stick and you're going to take one pair of wings. Now, before you glue this down, very important, you are going to fold the small corner, okay, like so, so that it bends. And you're going to do that with each of your wings. One wing, two wing. Now you're going to find somewhere that you're going to glue your butterfly. It can be wherever you would like, it is your paper, your choice. And I'm going to go ahead with my glue stick and you're just going to glue that folded corner down on your paper. Let me hold it up so you see what I mean. Okay, I put just the corners. I didn't glue the whole butterfly, just the little corners. Now you're going to go ahead and do the same thing with your second set of wings. Don't forget, you need to fold the corners. One corner. two corners. And again, I'm going to go and put a nice circle spot of glue on my paper. And you're going to glue one and two. So now I have the wings done, but as you can see, our butterflies are still missing their bodies. So I'm going to go ahead, take my butterfly body. Now I'm going to measure, you might need to cut some of the excess off if you feel that your butterfly is a little too big for the wings you created. So I made mine a little smaller. I'm going to glue on the yellow. Okay, nice sticky glue spot, if you can see it. And I'm going to press my butterfly body right through the center of those two wings just like so. And then you're going to go ahead and do the second 
using the same exact process. Again, I'm cutting a little extra off because I feel like my butterfly body is just a little too big for the wings I created. See? And press that down and presto. Now you have your two butterflies with flyaway flappy wings not attached to the paper. So your last step, I'm going to keep my little extra pieces that I cut off because these are going to come in handy for the next step. I created little teeny tiny triangle flowers since today the shape is triangles. So using probably a small corner or so, I'm just going to cut some extra paper off here. Just like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut triangles. The easiest way to do this is go from corner, one triangle, and then I'm going to cut it again and there's another triangle. Or you can teach your child to simply cut it in half and cut from corner to corner. And that is how you get two triangles. Now those are going to be for your flowers that go around the butterflies. You can make your flowers any size you would like, but you are going to need for one flower, four triangles. Okay, when gluing your triangles down, need your glue stick, you're going to find somewhere on your paper and you're going to put a nice big circle of glue. And we're going to take our triangle pieces and one of your points is going to go on the inside of the triangle. All the way around like a pinwheel. And all of your points are going to meet in the middle. So as you can see, just like a pinwheel, I put all of the points on the glue spot in the middle. I am now going to take my small yellow piece that I cut off from my butterfly body. I'm going to cut that a little smaller and I'm going to glue that right in the middle of that pinwheel. And there you have a triangle shaped flower. So I'm going to go, eh, actually I'm not going to do a second one. I'm going to let you guys do as many as you would like. On this side, as you can see, I made them a little smaller versus this one, which I made it really big. So you can do any size you would like. Um, my butterflies are exactly the same, and they are 3D, as you can see. They pop off the paper. That is the goal you want for your 3D butterflies. I hope you guys have fun making yours, and I can't wait to see the results. Bye, see you tomorrow.